All right, so let's do some fraction action. This is Bridges Math, fourth grade, unit seven. And we are first looking at a couple number lines and using that to help us compare fractions. So we are doing tenths uh, below the line and fifths above the line. So for the tenths, it's pretty simple. Just keep going. They give you one tenth. So you're gonna go two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, and so on. And then for the fifths, you have uh, five fifths. So start with one fifth and two fifths and so on <clears throat> to fill that in. And then at the bottom, you have fourths. So one fourth, two fourths, and so on. So then uh, basically, you're using these two number lines to help you do this part down here. Um, so for example, if I was comparing one fourth to four tenths, it looks to me that one fourth is less than four tenths. So I'll fill it in as less than four tenths. And just use all of the numbers above these on number one and two to help you solve number three. Down here, we're filling in fractions and figuring out what else do we need. So three fifths to fill that in is gonna look something like this. And then how much more do we need to get to one? Well, what's left? This is left, so we need two fifths to get to one. And the other two should be okay then. So let's look at the next bit here. And we have equivalent fractions. So one fourth is gonna be like this, right? But we need to um, do another fraction. So I could make it into eighths, or maybe I wanna try something different. So maybe I'll chop it into each one into three pieces like this. And that will give me uh, twelfths, right? So how many twelfths are filled in? I have one, two, three twelfths. So one fourth is equal to three twelfths. And then this last piece we have uh, Mariana. So Mariana's got a long piece of red ribbon from her aunt. She gave one fourth of the ribbon to her sister and two sixths to her best friend. So who got more, the little sister or the best friend? So these number lines we just did here are basically helping us here, right? Here we have, we can see, two-sixth, right? That's two-sixth. Here is one-fourth. So what's more? One-fourth or two-sixth? Just look at those pictures and you can figure out who got more uh, by looking at this and comparing them. And then you can fill this in. So to show why they're... Um, why one is larger than the other, you could just do, uh, you could just draw an error to that picture, or maybe you want to get a common denominator. So for example, a common denominator for fourths and six would be twelfths. So can you move those into twelfths and compare them that way? Um, so that's one way. And then, this is an interesting one, what fraction of the piece of ribbon did Mariana have left for herself? Okay, so let's do that. And to solve this, I really do need these twelfths up here, so I'm going to finish this thing I've already started. So one-fourth in twelfths, four times three is twelve. So that means I'm going to have three twelfths as an equivalent. How about six to twelve? That's times two. So that's what I have. So this would be what? So she's giving three twelfths to her little sister and four twelfths to her BFF. So uh, what's left? So total, she's giving away seven twelfths, right? And if you look at the chart we made up here, if she gave away seven twelfths, look, we'd have uh, three. I'm going to keep on filling this one in. And how much is left? This much is left. So what is left is... Uh, that or you can just subtract it from 1 so 12 twelfths minus 7 twelfths that's what's going to be left okay thank you and goodbye